Welcome back friends. In the previous session, we were discussing regarding the evidence for the location of genetic material in the nucleus. Now, to discuss the evidence that was a Mwisho ambazo ndizo ziko katika most of our commonly used books. Kwa kipindi hiki naenda kuendelea na evidence for the location of a little material in the chromosomes. Ah nilikwambia kwamba within the cell tumeshaona little material they are located in the nucleus. Now in the nucleus where are the hereditary materials located? Tali tumeshajua kwenye cell ziko wapi kwenye nucleus? Ye kwenye nucleus mle ndani tukishaingia ndani ya nucleus where we will find the little materials the nucleus is the center of all life processes in the cell heredity is among of the life processes controlled by the genetic material in the nucleus thus nucleus is the part of the cell which contain little materials the part of the nucleus which contain genetic material is called a chromosome the part of the nucleus which contain hereditary material is called a chromosome. In other words, chromosomes are carrier chromosomes are carrier of genetic material. Actually, is sentence ya isha chromosomes. In other words, chromosomes are carrier of hereditary material. Ko chromosomes in the nucleus ndizo ambazo zinachukua hereditary material ndizo ambazo zinachukua hereditary materials so chromosomes they are carriers of uh, hereditary material within the nucleus kwa ndani ya nucleus we expect to find the hereditary material arranged in the chromosomes unaona now there are several evidence to prove that the genetic material they are located in the chromosome evidence that the hereditary material are located in the chromosomes E, kuna vithibitisho gani vinavyotuambia kwamba it's true hereditary material they are located in the chromosomes to verify that chromosomes are carriers of genes the following points are considered first is the evidence from fertilization inaonekana ni kama inafanana na ile kule kwenye evidence for the location of genetic material in the uh, nucleus lakini hii ni kitu kingine kwa sababu gani kwa sababu uh, katika fertilization hapa tunazungumzia Uh, tunaangalia fusion of chromosome hapa tuzungumzie tena fusion of nucleus tunazungumzia fusion of nini chromosomes the sex of an individual to born will be determined on the fused chromosome during fertilization if a sperm carrying an x chromosome fuses with an egg carrying an x chromosome the resulting zygote will ultimately develop into a female offspring with xx sex chromosomes you see kwa hiyo kumbe kama tukio tuna a sperm ambayo na x na ovum ambayo na x unaona tutapata offspring ambayo ni xx ambayo atakuwa nani ni female on the contrary if a sperm carrying y chromosome y nini chromosome fuses with an egg carrying an x chromosome the resulting zygote will develop into a male offspring with xy sexy chromosomes you see kwa hiyo kumbe ni chromosome ndio inayo determine the a sex of an individual kwa sababu a sex ni genetically controlled that means thus since sex is genetically determined characteristics then the fused gametes the fused gametes are carrying genetic material on their chromosomes so the the gamete cells they are carrying genetic material on their chromosomes in this case this is one of the evidence uh, proving that the genetic material they are carried by the uh, chromosomes evidence number 2 the evidence from nuclear division evidence from nuclear division during the protein stage of process 1 the protein stage of process 1 in meiosis 1 there is crossing over of chiasmata formation e process ambayo tulielezea hapa a crossing over synapses hii inatokea katika diplotin stage diplotin stage ya meiosis 1 unaona bwana sasa crossing over ni nini unaona a crossing over hapa kuna kwa kuna exchange of genetic material between the chromosomes kwa hii tali ni evidence ambayo inaonyesha 
genetic material they are uh, located in the chromosomes. During this event, there is a breaking and a reunion of chromatids of homologous chromosomes. Breaking and a reunion of chromatid of homologous chromosomes. The consequence of this is genetic variation among organisms. Sasa, kama breaking and a reunion, yani zile chromosome, zinavo katika na kunganika, zinaperekea nini? Zinaperekea uh, variation kati ya organism. This implies that the exchanged part of chromatid contain retail material and hence new gene combination in the reunited chromatid. Yani manake ni kwamba zile eh, chromatid zizo exchange zilikuwa zime contain genetic material. Kwa sabi zinge contain genetic material that means variation is zinge tokea. So genetic variation is metokea because the exchanged chromatid contained the genetic material and hence the new gene combination in the reunited chromatid. This suggests that the retail material are located on chromosomes. Evidence number three is the evidence from mutation. Mutation. Mutation is equal to the Kuna gene mutation and the chromosomal mutation. Unona? Chromosomal mutation hii natokana na chromosomes zimepinda, zimekatika, zimefaya nini. Kambu vuta discuss badai uko mbele. Unona? Chromosomal mutation lead to change in genetic makeup of an organism. Chromosomal mutation. This suggests that the presence of uh, this suggests this suggests the presence of retail material in the chromosome in the CO30. This suggests the presence of retail material in chromosomes. Now the man is chromosome zikifanya mutation, pia genetic material in a change. Number four is the evidence from chromosomes analysis. Chromosomes analysis or chromosomal analysis. The analysis of chemical composition of chromosomes reverse the presence of protein and the DNA. Analysis ya chemical composition ya chromosome ilionyesha chromosomes imetengenezwa na protein pamoja na DNA. However, experiment proved that it is the DNA portion of chromosome which is involved in heredity. Thus, chromosomes be a DNA which is the retally material. We shall discuss later why DNA is the retally material and not a protein. Tukitoka kwenye part to discuss my dad. So, here now we have finished regarding the location of retail material, and from there in the coming session we discuss about the properties of retail material. We shall see what are the properties of retail material one after another before we are moving far to discuss about the types or the chemical composition of retail material. Don't forget to comment, don't forget to tell me what you've learned, what the challenge you've faced in order I can make a modification of these sessions so as to make sure that you understand better and better. Thank you and let us wish you nice studies. Let's meet in the coming session.